And good evening, everyone, and welcome to this episode of the Your Health is Important Facebook Live broadcast. I am Dr. MJ Carr, your host, producer, on air personality, and we are so glad to have you here with us this evening. This is an opportunity to bring you good health care information and for you to ask your health care questions. So get ready, get ready, get ready. Here we go live right now. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in tonight. Okay, so let's talk about first. I'm going to bring you up to speed on Dr. Kaya's weight loss journey. So remember, I told you I was basically 30 pounds down, and I had about three more pounds I needed to get before I was uh, ready to say I was totally, completely successful. And so I accomplished that objective uh, last week. And so I am now exactly where I'd like to be. And I am uh, very, very comfortable with that. I have uh, just broken the mold now. I am shopping for new clothes, trying on new things. All of my purchases have been slim sized. So I went from uh, extra largest to largest. I went from regular size and, and uh, traditional fit clothes to slim fit. And uh, everybody knows this is a thing that's unusual, particularly people who haven't seen me for a few months. They're seeing me say, what are you doing? Uh, have you, you know some people don't know they say that you have plastic surgery uh etc say no none of the above other people say i'm benjamin uh, buttons i'm aging backwards uh but i think uh, you know i just let them know that uh, my health status has improved because i was able to accomplish my objective of losing 30 pounds and uh now i have stabilized there and i'm just trying to maintain it so people ask how did you accomplish that objective dr carrier well we have several things we have the lipo drops maximum formula the Lipodrops Max formula, again, we've taken that and the Lipodrops Max, we're taking a dropper full of the Lipodrops before each meal, uh, three times a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You hold it under your tongue for two minutes and then swallow it and then you get the benefit from it. We are taking the Keto Max product and all of these products are available on the Lipodrops website. So go to Lipodrops.com and you too can join the weight loss journey. So Ketomax puts your body in a state of ketosis, which is basically the Atkins diet, the South Beach diet, uh, basically a, a calorie dense uh, diet that requires you to burn more calories to digest the food than there are calories in the food and the preferred a fuel to, for that process is fat cells. So you lose fat cells uh, from places you cannot traditionally lose fat cells, like the abdomen, lose the muffin top, like under the chin, like my collar size, I'm still, and this is a, a, an inch less collar and I can still get two fingers in there now. And this is a slim size shirt. Uh, again, the back of your arms, uh, across the back, areas of the, the bottom of your arms, ladies, uh, places that you want to try to lose weight. And you can do that. And we also, uh, again, lose the muffin top with the lipo drop so those two products and then we are also uh, utilizing the lipo cleanse lipo cleanse allows you once you start to detox and you start to lose this fat cells that fat will accumulate in your body and you want to get rid of it so you want to use a cleanse to keep your your colon empty and moving so this is not a laxative product but what it does it allows you to have large easy to pass bowel movements so that you're dispensing of those toxins you're dispensing of that those dead fat cells and you're also dispensing of uh the weight associated with them so very very good but controlled bowel movements that are just large and easy to pass with the lipo cleanse product and then god's gift to gi health that is the lipobiotic product and i'm using the lipobiotic in my weight loss journey i take it every day for general uh health as far as my gi tract is concerned as far as my immune system is concerned and that's the other topic we want to get to so we are doing those things that is how we did it if you want to join the weight loss journey go to lifeonedrop.com and you too can get those compliments you can lose that weight and be very successful in what you're doing now men's health this is a product that is so very very popular that uh, everybody asked about it, and I have it in my office, but it's not necessarily uh, promoted heavily on the website, but you can order it on lipodrops.com. And that is my men's product, LipoT. This is for male enhancement. So all the commercials that you're seeing for products about boosting your testosterone, this is what this does, and it also enhances erectile function so that you have uh, longer, harder erections that last and allow you to be uh you know the type of lover that you'd like to be uh these are absolutely incredible you can take two or three capsules two or three capsules every evening before you go to bed 
So uh, some people take it after dinner, but sometime after dinner and before bedtime, you take these products. And I tell you, you get these, gentlemen, you will love them. But more importantly, the lady in your life will greatly appreciate your enhanced ability to function. And unlike some of the other products like Viagra and Cialis that you take uh, before sex, you take these every day so that you're always ready. And again, Lipo T, God's gift to male enhancement. You really, really, really will appreciate this. Uh, go to the website, order Lipo T, Lipo T, Lipo T, great product. Now, if you've been listening to the news, you see now that the, the coronavirus pandemic, uh, the COVID pandemic is back in the news. We're seeing a lot of patients. The case rate is going up. It's almost a million cases of being diagnosed on a daily basis. Not quite as high as we were in the worst part of the pandemic, but we are seeing cases go up. Hospitalizations are increasing and the death rate is going up. So you have to understand this new variant, the BA5 variant of the Omicron uh, coronavirus is showing a high, very high infectivity rate. And this is spreading and is not being uh, significantly impacted uh, by having had a previous infection. So traditionally, Dr. Kali was a strong proponent of natural immunity that you obtained from having had a previous COVID infection. But natural immunity does not seem to enhance uh, or, or control or limit your ability to catch this new BA5 variant of the Omicron. And uh, if you have not had uh, boosters with your primary vaccine status, which means two shots of the Moderna or the Pfizer, one shot of the Johnson & Johnson, you need to have gotten at least one booster. If you have had two boosters, you're at your highest protective state as far as this new variant is concerned, but that is still not as effective as we would like for it to be, as it was with the Delta variant, with the original coronavirus, and even with the original Omicron, but not this variant. So you, you, what do we need to do? We need to go back to the basics. We need to boost our own immune system. And those are the things that Dr. Kyrie were telling you before there were vaccines. That is, get your vitamin D. Our Dr. D product, has 5,000 international units of vitamin D. It's a capsule that's small, it's easy to swallow. You take this once a day. That will boost your immune system and help your immune system more effectively fight not only viruses like the COVID virus and the influenza virus A and B, a respiratory syncytial virus, but also bacterial infections such as strep and staphylococcus and pneumonias, and also fungal infections such as toenail fungus, fingernail fungus, vaginal yeast and jock itch, skin funguses, tinea corpus is what they call it, but uh, and even uh, seborrheic dermatitis on your scalp. So vitamin D is a very, very elegant way to boost your immune system and to have you doing, uh, gives you the best opportunity to minimize your champ, your opportunity of catching a COVID infection. So omega-3 fish oil, body's natural anti-inflammatory, as well as boosting your immune system. I like our omega, a good clean product. You open the bottle, it does not smell fishy. If you look through the capsules, the capsules are crystal clear. That lets you know the purity of this product. And, and anti-inflammatory properties that you get boost and enhance your body's cardiovascular fitness as well. So decreases your chance of having a heart attack or stroke, lowers your total cholesterol, increases your HDL, the good cholesterol, lowers the LDL, the bad cholesterol, and lowers the triglycerides. All are components of fat when you eat fatty foods that increase your cardiovascular risk status and the risk of having a heart attack or stroke. Then we decided to put several things together. Our lipoimmune, the lipoimmune, very, very popular product now that has uh, zinc, elderberry, and vitamin C, all three things in one capsule. And those are the things that will enhance your body's immune function and help protect you from this BA5 variant of the Omicron coronavirus. Now, let me tell you, I'm having patients, I'm having friends, I'm having family members, I'm having physician friends, people in healthcare, all these individuals are catching this uh, BA5 variant. And every time there's a group gathering, like we just had the 4th of July, weddings, pool parties, uh, you know, people are gathering. There are no real restrictions now. Uh, but even in, I went to a conference where people were required to have the vaccine status. They had to have a, a negative test before they attended. All of these precautions in place, yet people are leaving these events and they're testing positive for COVID. So you have to protect yourself and you can do so. Go to lipodrops.com, boost your immune system, and protect yourself. So that's where we are. Hyblick, thank you so much for uh, screening the calls this evening. As you know, Hyblick is our producer, and he does a great job. Sean Big Time Green, thank you so much. He's one of our regulars and the first 
to acknowledge that he's back with the Your Health is Important broadcast. Azuri Fury, greeting from South Carolina. Thank you. You know we want to know where you're from as well. Raymond Lee Presley from Florence, South Carolina. Thank you. Christina Bryant, good afternoon. And thank you, Christina, for joining us as well. Uh, good evening, Dr. Kai from Baton Rouge. This is a Facebook user. Good evening, Rachel Harrison. Thank you for joining us as well. Good evening from Dallas, Texas. So we got Louisiana. We got Texas. What about Mississippi? What about Tennessee? There we go, Miami. Kathy Davis Kendricks, all the way from Miami. Thank you so much. Let's go East Coast, New York, New Jersey. B. Dukes, good evening from Northern Virginia. We're moving up the coast. Thank you, B. Uh, Makiva, thank you very much from the local Atlanta area. Makiva is a good, good follower of this broadcast. Kathy London, good evening to you as well. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Veronica Antonobuchu Wallace. Hey, thank you from 305, the 305 Miami. I'm sorry I messed up that middle name. I, I, I'm having difficulty seeing the font size. Good afternoon from Baton Rouge. I received my Lipo Max bundle, CL Turner. That means you're on your way to losing weight and accomplishing your objective. Remember, the Lipo drops Max under your tongue two minutes, then swallow at least 15 minutes before you eat, and you're going to optimize your body's metabolism of fat cells. Forsyth, Beverly Dunn. I think that's Forsyth, Georgia, I hope. And so thank you so much. Ken Reddick from Douglasville. Ken Scooter Reddick. Thank you, Doug. I mean, from being in the house. West Palm Beach, Florida. Janae Allen. Janae, we appreciate you being from West Palm Beach. LaKenya Renee from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Sandy Smith from Miami, Florida is in the house, and we are glad that you are here. Travis Scott. Hey, Travis, how you doing from Cali? We appreciate you for following up, Travis. Good to hear from you again. Carol Cal Craig from Birmingham, BM now. I say it, Alabama, Mississippi. Okay, Kevin Sturdivant from Petersburg, Virginia. We're still moving. Nobody from New York or New Jersey yet. Hey, Gon, Gon Hagler from MJ from Savannah. Oh, I love Savannah. One of my favorite places. Great seafood, great opportunity to go eat some nice oysters and have good cocktail watching the water. Winnie King from Terrell, Texas. Thank you so much, Winnie. We appreciate you as well. Willette Carter. Hi, Willette. Thank you very much. And I really appreciate you tuning in once again. Willette, I, I told you, I think my one of my high school sweethearts was named Willette. So I, I will always remember your name. Thank you. Uh, Penny Roberts from Henderson, Texas. Hey, Penny. Thank you so much for tuning in. Okay. Now, thank you, Havoc. We appreciate the roll call and we'll come back to it and acknowledge other watchers and listeners as well. Now, let's get to your questions. This is your opportunity to ask your health care question. Sadie Smith, can I take the keto pills three times or just only two a day? Uh, you're not going to get any additional benefit taking it three times per day. You get all the benefit that you're going to need uh, two times per day. Uh, so just before your breakfast and before your or before your lunch and before your dinner uh, would be the ideal way to do that. So whichever is your largest meal. A lot of us don't eat breakfast. Uh, so it's it's not going to you're not going to benefit as much if you don't eat. So what it, whenever you do eat uh, your first meal of the day, take it and then again before your dinner. And that will give you maximum benefit from that. No addition. It's not going to harm you to take it three times per day. It's just not going to help your weight loss journey. You're going to run out of pills because the bottle has a one month supply in it to get you through 30 days, taking it twice a day. Great question, Sandy. Okay. Kathy, Kevin Kendrick, I've been doing the Keto Max for about one month. I'm on a low carb diet. How long does it take before you've been on ketosis? If you've been on it for a month, you're already in ketosis. Uh, I hope you're not eating around it. So on a low carb diet, that is a keto diet as well. So you should be in ketosis and you should be uh, losing weight. So you're, you're not saying that you're not losing weight. You just say you, you're you not sure whether you're in ketosis or not. But you should be losing weight. And if you are not, then we want to also add that you do uh, the intermittent fasting, which means you eat everything that you're going to eat that day within one eight hour period. That period can be 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., 12 noon to, to 8 p.m. I don't recommend eating anything after 8 p.m., no matter what period of time you choose, so that you're not going to sleep on those calories. Unfortunately, as we have progressed, we're eating later and later. We're sitting in front of the television and eating late dinners, and we're eating heavy and then going to bed, and that's what's putting weight on a lot of people. So you need to ideally complete everything that you're going to eat no later than eight o'clock the further the earlier you can make it the better you'll notice just a weight loss from that change in behavior also make sure you're drinking enough water kathy uh because water is very important in, in, in removing and detoxifying you and oftentimes we're not drinking enough water and that is eight to ten glasses of water per day in addition to anything else that you're drinking 
uh, coffee, tea, juice, whatever, anything else, you still need to get that eight to 10 glasses of water a day that will keep your bowels moving as well. And you'll notice that you're urinating and you're urinating out a lot of toxins that you need to help with your weight loss journey. Okay, great. Kathy London, uh, please help me choosing the correct sunscreen. I visit several Caribbean islands. Also, just for every day, I need to know the correct number for dark skin female. I am so glad, Kathy, that you asked that question because we're going to beat some myths right now. Uh, one, uh, the number on the sun cream doesn't it indicate its effectiveness. It indicates how long it lasts. So uh, if you have a sunscreen that's 35 versus one that's 70, they give you the same protection. It's just that the 70 will last longer. And you have to understand that the problem with us is we go out and get in the sun, then apply sunscreen while we're already laying out on the lawn chair in the sun. You need to apply your sunscreen before you go outside. Uh, have somebody who loves you applied and remember that places that you need to put it on your tip of your nose, your cheekbones, your ears, your ears are, are oftentimes burned, particularly the back of the ears, because we instinctively turn away from the sun. And so our neck is susceptible to burn and the back of our ears. So make sure that you're hitting all of those areas. Uh, be generous with the sunscreen. And if you get in the water, you're going to have to reapply the sunscreen. But you really need to have the sunscreen on in all exposed areas at least 30 minutes before you go outside and get sun exposure. But a sunscreen that's as low as 10, same effectiveness as one to 70 or higher. But uh, again, they just last longer. So um, again, price do not spend a lot of money on the sunscreen. Some of the best sunscreens are available. I think that uh, there's a consumer advocate here in the local area where he's syndicated nationally named Clark Howard. And he did a study he found that the, the brand is the, the, the store brand that's sold by Walmart is one of the most effective sunscreens available. And it's about eight bucks a bottle for a big bottle. And that's enough for a family going on vacation for a week in the, in the sun. So that's a good way of doing it. But thank you so much for asking that question because people uh, don't understand a lot of the mythology about sunscreens and do not use tan enhancers those things are definitely not what african americans in particular need to use or anybody for that matter but people will oftentimes buy them uh to quote uh, fasten their tan or speed their tan up you don't need to do that you need to protect yourself from the sun and again the sunscreen uh ideally will do that but i like to use a sunscreen that's uh, at least 50 again because it's going to last uh for at least half a day uh, unless you wash it off in the water and if you do that remember reapply sunscreen immediately upon x and then cover up. Don't hesitate to wear. They have all these new fabrics now that will reflect sunlight that you can put on uh, and not necessarily expose your entire body so you're not worried about sunburn. Sunburn will ruin your vacation. Make sure that you protect yourself. Next question. Okay. Are they good for you as for menopause? Hello. Private privatized are they good for you uh as far as for menopause uh, i'm not familiar with that product carol i apologize i hope it's spelt right uh but i'm not i'm not quite familiar with that but for the menopause i know there are several natural products that you can get from any health food store that contain what are called phytoestrogens these are plant-based estrogens that anybody can take uh, no matter what your history is you can take the plant-based estrogen that will help but ideally if you really want to re relieve yourself of menopausal symptoms, then you need to do bioidentical hormone replacement therapy or BHRT. One of the things I do in my office is available a lot of places around the country. Just Google BHRT and ask for a provider near you uh, or come see me. I'd be happy to do it. That will be life changing. It is literally the fountain of youth. Makes you look better, makes you uh, um, age slower increases your muscle mass, decreases your body fat, improves your mental uh, ability, enhances your sleep, stops hot flashes almost instantly, makes a woman's vagina thicker, tighter, and wetter. So thick, tight, and wet, which is what you want your vagina to be because as you age, your vagina gets thin and more difficult to stimulate. It gets drier and that makes intercourse unpleasant. And if it's painful, you're not going to want to do it. It's going to be difficult for you to get into it mentally and emotionally. Your partner is going to feel rejected and it, it creates a whole level of, of problems. And so you can address that by using um, you know, lubricants, of course, uh, things like KY jelly and uh, an astroglide are very good uh, for that. But a natural lubricant is olive oil. It works wonderfully as well. Saliva also is a great lubricant. Not anything that's petroleum based, no baby oil, no Vaseline should go into the vagina uh, from that perspective. But you can fix the problem naturally by bioidentical hormone replacement therapy. Great question. Okay. 
What causes the diastolic blood pressure to be high? When you take your blood pressure, the classical television that everybody knows is 120 over 80. Now, the top number is called the systolic blood pressure, the di which is the blood pressure that's created as your heart pumps. The bottom number is called the di diastolic blood pressure, and that is the pressure of the resting tone of the arteries in your body and how much pressure is on them routinely. So that can go up if you're fluid overloaded, if you're taking too much salt, you can get it as your uh arteries start to harden with aging and your cholesterol placking, that can make the diastolic pressure go up uh, by itself. Uniquely, you can have a normal systolic and elevated diastolic, uh, but most of the time you're going to have both of them elevated. So a, a normal blood pressure, 140 or less, over 90 or less. An ideal blood pressure, 120 over 80, but normal, 140 or less, over 90 or less. So if you can get that, and it may take, depending on where you're starting from, the, the decision to make is not whether to start a medication or not. Once you start a medication, it doesn't matter what the dose is. I have patients ask me all the time, well, can I start on a low dose of something? Well, no, what you want to start on is an effective dose of something. The decision is to take the medicine or not to take the medicine. Once you decide to take it, you need to take a dose that's going to work for you and keep your blood pressure controlled at all times, not that it's controlled most of the time. People will bring me blood pressure logs that have some good blood pressures on them and some bad blood pressures on them. And they will always want to explain away the bad blood pressures and, and, and accept the good blood pressures that, oh, see how good my blood pressure is. But I say, well, what about this one? And what about this one? That is, it, was, it was elevated and it was too high. Oh, well, that I was doing so and so. I had just ate something or I just, somebody cut me off in traffic or whatever. The point being, you do not want your blood pressure to go up under stress because that's when you have a heart attack or a stroke. So it's important to keep your blood pressure controlled at all times. That may take one medicine. For most people, it takes at least three medications. Some people are on five medications, but it's whatever it takes to control your blood pressure. So don't be impressed by the number of pills. Uh, be impressed by whether your blood pressure is controlled or not. But again, the decision, once you and your healthcare provider decide it's time to go on blood pressure medications, and it's not a hard decision to make because you're not going to be able to diet and exercise away your blood pressure. You're not going to be able to noni juice. Uh, or you're not going to be able to apple cider vinegar. You're not going to be able to take garlic juice and all these things that are good and natural. Lord, they will lower your blood pressure three points, five points. Most of us need to lower our blood pressure 30 points or 40 points. So it's not going to get you where you need to be. And being a little bit better is doesn't give you any significant benefit. There used to be five stages of hypertension. Uh, now there are only two. And the reason there are only two is because once you get to stage two hypertension, you can't be any worse. It doesn't matter how much higher your blood pressure goes. You're not at any uh, increased risk for a heart attack or a stroke. You just either you're going to be at risk or not. So you want to make sure that you are controlled again. So you ideally want your blood pressure to be less than 140 millimeters of mercury is the unit of measure over 90 millimeters of mercury. Anything less than that, you know, as you get to 130 over 80, 120 over 80, et cetera. Those are great numbers, but oftentimes unsustainable or unobtainable uh, for the average person. So that's what we want you to be with that. Great question, Raymond. Okay. Jada Thrash, interested on how to regain the loss of smell and taste. We get in 2019, but didn't have COVID. Uh, probably did and it just wasn't called COVID at the time. Uh, I, I, if someone had tested you for antibodies that could determine whether you actually had COVID or not, if you've never had COVID or you don't think you've had it, get yourself an antibody test to determine. Now, you can't get an antibody test if you've already been vaccinated. So if your status, if you're pure, haven't had it and haven't been vaccinated, then you can determine by an antibody test. Any doctor's office can do that. and They can tell you uh, it's not an instant test. They have to go to a lab. It may take a week, but then you'll get that information. But if not, the problem with loss of sense of smell and taste are inflammatory. It's inflammation of the tiny cells inside your arteries that are called endothelial cells. These cells are like tile in your bathroom. They land the inside of your arteries and they are literally the largest organ in your body, endothelial cells. Well, when they get inflamed, you treat them with natural anti-inflammatories. Vitamin D would be first choice, then omega-3 fish oils. Then there are other anti-inflammatories such as turmeric, curcumin, all these things that you can take that will help. And if you start taking vitamin D, I can virtually assure you that that will improve. It's not going to be instant. It's going to probably take at least three months before you really or noticing a major difference. But 
what else you going to do? Uh, you know, so take the time to treat yourself right. Treat the inflammation with an anti-inflammatory and you will notice improvement. OK, uh, next question. B. Dukes, if someone's blood pressure and O2 sat and cardiac tests are all good, but still suffering from shortness of breath, both resting and exertional, while still testing negative for COVID, is there anything else that I could take or do? Uh, one, uh, B, I would say you need to improve your cardiovascular fitness. Uh, and that just some aerobic exercise will do that. I would still take Dr. Kaya's three recommended things for daily life to boost your, your health status. That's vitamin D, 5,000 international units per day, omega-3 fish oil, uh, minimum of 2,000 per day. My capsules are 1,480 each. So one of those in the morning, one of those in the evening will optimize your anti-inflammatory response and then probiotics in case there's an immune issue going on with you uh, that's attacking your lungs. So improving lung capacity, uh, the only thing that can do that is aerobic exercise. And so you want to decrease the inflammation and then improve. And it doesn't have to be getting on the treadmill at high speed or using the Stairmaster. You can just walk. Walking is a great exercise. You need to do it at a rate of about three to five miles per hour, enough to get your heart rate elevated. Do it in a controlled environment. Do not get out and walk in this heat. Uh, and it, depending upon how, how comfortable and safe you feel in your neighborhood, you can do it there. But I highly recommend mall walking. It's controlled. It's air conditioned. Uh, go walk around the mall for uh, 30 minutes to an hour. Try to do it at a minimum of 30 minutes and try to do it at least three times per week. Ideally, four times per week, that would be doing it, for example, on Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday to rest, restore and heal and allow your body to benefit from the exercise. Go again on Thursday and Friday and then take the weekend to do other things that you do that may burn calories and get your, your heart rate up. That could be tennis. That could be pickleball. It could be, again, more walking if you want to do that. But it's, it's, a, it's an exercise that anyone can do. You don't have to go to the gym to do it. Just make sure you got some good walking shoes on and some nice socks to cushion your feet because you don't want to get blisters or anything like that. But walking, great exercise, no trauma to the body, and you will benefit greatly. Now, again, that's going to take for the first week or so, you're probably going to be uh, mad with me and talking about me and my mother. But after the second week, all of a sudden, you're going to start to notice great benefit. And by the third or fourth week, you really are going to start to improve your body's general health as well as you'll lose weight. Uh, you'll be more physically fit and you'll just feel better. You will sleep better and all of your, your uh, physical being will be enhanced. OK, next question. What is the name of the diabetic drug you mentioned that is efficient in bringing down the A1C? The A1C as well as controlling your blood sugar, lowering the A1C and makes you lose weight. Uh, there are a, a, the, the one that I mentioned was called Ozempic. And you've seen the commercials, every every sports uh, uh, broadcast, baseball, football, basketball. Oh, 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 Ozempic. They got a great commercial. Their dose uh, was 25 milligrams, uh, uh, 0.5 mil, point, one to, point two five milligrams, 0.5 milligrams and one milligram. They now have a two milligram optimal dose that you can take. You take one shot per week and that will give you those benefits. There's also a new kid on the block called Monjuro, Monjuro M-O-U-N-J-A-R-O. This is a new product that combines a GLP-1 uh, uh, with a um, uh, another product that enhances your body's ability to metabolize fat. It decreases your appetite, makes you lose weight, lowers your hemoglobin A1C, and improves your blood sugar. So if you're not on a product like that, if your doctor still have you on just metformin or you're taking even regular, if you're taking insulin, you can take these injectables as well. And, and again, they are only one shot, one time per week, and they are the most effective treatments that are available right now. They will literally change your life. This morning, on my broadcast on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show, one of the callers called in to tell me that she heard me talking about the, uh, these weight loss injections uh, that control your diabetes. Uh, she started taking the Ozempic and she lost 18 pounds and her blood sugar is down. She, she's taken off uh, one of her uh, diabetes medications and her insulin dose has been cut in half. And so she probably will be able to come off of that at some point. But right now, her health is so markedly improved but she is very happy about losing almost 20 pounds. And uh, again, just taking the shot, not doing a single sit up, push up, going to the gym, none of those things. It just makes you lose weight. It is absolutely amazing. It's going to change weight loss as we know it. It is thought to be as effective 
as someone having weight loss surgery. That's a gastric bypass, a gastric sleeve, all of these things. These are non-surgical alternatives that will accomplish the same objective. 30 pounds for every 100 pounds, 30% of your weight. That is amazing. So if you weigh 300 pounds, you can lose 90 to 100 pounds. You, lose, you weigh 200 pounds, you can lose 60 pounds. So these, the, this again, primary function is to control your diabetes. The Manjaro is going for a strict weight loss objective. There's the exact same molecule that's in Ozempic called Wegovi, only for weight loss. It's the exact same medication, just a different name. Uh, it, but it also, they just, you can get that strictly for weight loss. You don't have to be diabetic to get it. So that's the answer to your question. And just go talk to your primary care provider, tell them you want to get the, every doctor now knows about this because patients are asking about it. The information is just uh, overwhelming. Doctors have to educate themselves on how to use these drugs and to give them to patients so they can be life changing. And it doesn't matter what your age is. Uh, you can be, um, you know, a young diabetic, an old diabetic, you can be in your sixth, seventh decade, you will get those same benefits. So you don't have to hesitate because you say, well, I'm in my fifties, I'm in my sixties, and I don't know whether I'm, that medicine will be safe for me. Guess what? It's safe for you. Also other benefits like cardiovascular benefits, as far as heart attacks and stroke rates are concerned and improving kidney function. I mean, these drugs just are miracle drugs. They are amazing and they will help with all of those things that are side effects of being a diabetic person. Remember, diabetes is an inflammatory condition, and you treat the diabetes, you cut down the inflammation. You cut down the inflammation, you decrease the rates of heart attacks, and strokes, and other inflammatory conditions. So great question, Angela. Go get healthy, girl. Azar Arazi, Fur Arazi. Okay, what is the best cream for use for IBS irritation? Uh, for irritable bowel syndrome, um, a cream for that? Uh, there, There is a... Uh, a suppository that you can take. There is a cream that you put uh, directly into the rectum for that. But um, there are other products now that I would recommend before I would recommend those. Now, technology has improved tremendously. Uh, it's thought that IBS is an autoimmune problem, predominantly food allergies. And you will get great benefit from probiotics, taking probiotics. Our lipobiotic product will change the life of a person that suffers from uh, from uh, irritable bowel syndrome. So you start taking these and you'll notice a major difference in as little as two weeks. And then uh, again, they're part of what I recommend for everybody, every day. I don't care what your health status is, whether you're young, whether you're middle-aged, whether you're older, whether you're male, whether you're female, whether you're skinny, whether you're normal weight, whether you're overweight, whether you're obese, it doesn't matter. Those three things will change your life. That's vitamin D, omega-3 fish oil, and probiotics. I take these products each and every day. And uh, again, I have no diagnosed health conditions. I'm not hypertensive. I'm not diabetic. I don't take any prescription medications from that perspective. Uh, and, you know, and Dr. Kai is not the youngest uh, uh, bird in the room. So, uh, again, these are just have good health. And I think I, I give that to being taking these supplements. I think that they have benefited my health status in general because my family, uh, heart attacks and strokes, just like your family, because people of color, particularly and disproportionately represented by African-Americans, die from heart attacks and strokes. So uh, grandmother died from a stroke. Uh, father died from a heart attack. Uh, mother died from um, cigarette smoking. She had cancer. She was a five pack a day smoker. So, you know, the, but the point is, my family history is strong for uh, cardiovascular disease, as is your family history. And so I just, once I educated myself on these types of things, on supplements and how to stay healthy, uh, I started doing what I tell my patients to do. And I, you know, and as time has passed by now, again, Dr. Kai is on, on the uh, midlife now, uh, then uh, again, no healthcare problems, no, no health issues. My cholesterol is amazingly good. My blood pressure is perfectly normal. I'm not diabetic. I'm not pre-diabetic. Uh, uh, again, uh, I think that when you do those things to maintain good health and, and prevent a disease states, you are much better off than waiting until you're sick, have a disease, and then trying to control a disease state that oftentimes cannot be cured. Okay, great question. Well, live drugs still where if you can't hold it under the tongue for one or two minutes. Uh, Jules, why wouldn't you be able to hold it under your tongue for one or two minutes? <laughs> uh, you ought to be able to do that. It is absorbed sublingually. 
Uh, this replaces a injectable product called LipoBite that is utilized in a lot of uh, weight loss facilities in particular, and it's injection. The problem is some people don't like shots, and other times, if you have to come to the doctor's office to get the shot, you have to come to the doctor's office. That means you have to plan to have that in your, you know, your schedule every week to go to the doctor's office and get your injections. So that's why the lipo drops was created. It's taking anything sublingually under the tongue is exactly the same efficacy as if you are taking an injection. So that is why you hold it under your tongue. If you can get it under there for one minute, you probably are getting great benefit. If you can hold it for two minutes, you're getting optimal benefit. If, it's, if you find that a dropper full is maybe too much volume for you, then uh, just put half a dropper full under there and do it twice, and then you'll get what you need from it. So that is literally the most unique thing I have ever had asked about uh, using the lipo drops. Uh, if you can't hold it under your tongue for one to two minutes, but once you swallow it, it's not really doing you any good because it's not absorbed well in the stomach because uh, it's got a lot of B12 in it and B12 is not uh, effectively absorbed in the stomach, which is why I don't tell, I don't uh, advocate B12 tablets because your, your body just won't absorb them. Just the acid in your stomach destroys it. And so you don't get enough of it to utilize. But if you just put it under your tongue, you will find your tongue and the buccal mucosa, the sides of your mouth also absorb. But under the tongue, it's just a good place to rest it. But if it's but if a meal, one meal is what the dropper delivers. Uh, that's too much. Just put a half of a meal under there and you ought to be able to do that. OK, Jules, great question. OK, LaKenya, Renee. When do you think the second boost will be available for people who do not have a pre-existing condition? Already is. If you want to go get it, nobody's going to turn you away. Uh, second booster, if you're going to get a booster, no matter which one you've already had, make sure you get the Moderna. It is the most effective uh, of the vaccines. Second choice would be the Pfizer. If you only got one J&J &J shot, you have basically no substantive immune status. So you need to get boosters with Pfizer or Moderna. First choice Moderna, uh, second choice Pfizer, and then uh, again, both good choices. If they, if you go to the drugstore and they only have one of them available, then get the one that's available uh, at your pharmacy, and you can also literally be able to walk in and get it in five minutes. Now, it's no long lines, it's no waiting. They will ask you to make appointments sometimes, but you don't have to have an appointment. Uh, and this is going to change in the next few weeks as we start to enter the fall. Uh, there's going to be the numbers are going to be astronomical and people are going to be standing in lines again to get the vaccines. So go and get it now while it's easy to do and you can do that. So, uh, again, nobody's going to turn you away if you want to get a second booster now. Uh, as a matter of fact, the CDC just recommended today uh, that anybody uh, over age 50 in particular that wants to get a booster uh, can get it. And if you don't have a pre-existing condition, you're eligible for it because the numbers are increasing exponentially on a daily basis now. So they're realizing holding back the shots uh, makes no clinical and logical sense. Give it to anybody who's willing to, any willing provider should give it to any willing patient that's willing to take it. Okay, great question. Chris Rouser. Chris Rouser. I love that. I have fatty liver. I recently purchased milk thistle with dandelion. Is this good? And what else suggested? Chris, you are amazing because milk thistle is something that my patients brought to my attention in treating this problem of fatty liver. And I have seen fatty liver turned around in short order by this supplement. This is a perfectly natural supplement. No prescription required. You can get milk thistle at a lot of places like uh, the GNC, vitamin shops, or anything that's available in your area that sells supplements. Uh, get counseling from somebody there that does the counseling, and you will find that this works wonderfully uh, for, for various types of liver disease, uh, cirrhosis, uh, alcoholic cirrhosis, uh, uh, hepatitis induced cirrhosis. Uh, it's just good for liver health. And uh, I've seen, you know, like I said, I became a big believer when I had a patient that was about to get a liver transplant that was that was seen by a naturopath. They started using the milk thistle and they have they're no longer on the transplant list. Their liver is functioning quite fine now and uh, they are doing quite well. And so having seen this myself, uh, I can state unequivocally that this seems to be a good product. It seems to work. And, uh, you know, I, it's one that I recommend. So great job. The, uh, again, the other thing is uh, avoiding 
uh, toxins uh, like alcohol, uh, you know, with uh, so that you don't do anything else to insult the liver. Uh, there are certain medications that could do that as well uh, once you have a compromised liver. But uh, but the number one thing that most people do is they drink alcohol. And so and there's no such thing as light. You can't say, I'm just going to have a beer. I'm just going to have a little wine. Uh, the alcohol is the alcohol. And so it's no difference in drinking uh, a wine spritzer than it is in drinking Jack Daniels uh, or some other uh, brown alcohol beverage and so you either make the decision to drink or not to drink if you're compromised with your liver function and also make sure that you have gotten your hepatitis vaccines a b and c all right chris great question veronica wallace i'm just gonna go straight past the middle of the day. <laughs> every now and then this happens to me i will laugh at something that's really funny my head will start to burn while laughing why is that uh, because when you laugh, you compromise blood flow to the head. Uh, you, you, your heart is not beating as effectively as it can uh, and efficiently as it can. So that causes uh, a decreased blood flow, which can cause that sensation that's called a paresthesia. Uh, some people get dizzy. Some people literally can pass out from doing that. Uh, so just be aware uh, that you'll laugh not quite as enthusiastically as some of the funny things that Dr. Kaji says. But, uh, you know, if it's just really funny, just be aware it's not life threatening. Nothing bad is going to happen. And uh, as soon as, uh, you know, over 30 seconds to a minute, that sensation ought to go away once your heart starts beating back normally. But uh, might not be a bad idea. If that's the only thing that triggers it, then I would say don't worry about it. If you're noticing that it's doing anything else or if you feel compromised, it, it takes more than a minute to recuperate, then you might at least need to go get an EKG from your doctor. You could have an underlying cardiac arrhythmia, anything from atrial fibrillation to PBCs, uh, you know, which are premature ventricular contractions of the heart. Uh, you know, don't rely on uh, an EKG tracing from your iPhone or your 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 iWatch. Uh, go get to the doctor and get a real EKG. And um, next, you know, nothing urgent about it. it. Doesn't sound like you're in any uh, health risk. But the next time you go to the doctor and get a comprehensive physical request that you get an EKG as well. That's what I would recommend. Okay. What is good for thyroid that's natural? Uh, as amazingly enough, there's a natural product called Nature Throid uh, that is very good for thyroid. Uh, thyroid is your body's metabolism controller. It is the thermostat for your body. It controls all your metabolic rate, whether you feel cold, whether you feel warm, how fast you're metabolizing your fat, whether you're energetic or whether you're feeling slowed down and foggy brain. Uh, so it's important that you keep your thyroid functioning uh, and healthy. And nature thyroid again and other thyroid enhancers are available over the counter without a prescription. But if you if there's a real concern about your thyroid, you need to have a full thyroid panel. Oftentimes doctors will just take test what's called a TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone, which is a thyroid function test, but it's not thyroid hormone. And so it can be normal or abnormal, and you can still have abnormal thyroid function tests. So you need a full thyroid panel that tests your, your uh, free T3 and T4. T4, the inactive thyroid hormone, which is converted to T3, which is the active thyroid hormone, which, uh, again, all of those things can be out of balance and needs to be evaluated. And then every hormone in your body, but particularly the thyroid, has a range of normal. So if this is your range of normal, and this is low <clears throat> and this is high and everything between my hands is normal you want to at minimum be right in the middle of normal here you don't want to be uh you know on the low side of of, of low yeah, which some doctors as soon as they get your normal range they stop and so if you're getting thyroid replacement you want to at minimum be at the low side uh in the middle uh but on the high side of normal or optimal thyroid replacement is what is best for you and what I recommend. And so that improves your energy, increases your mental alertness, keeps your, your weight down, your muscle mass up, your body fat down. Or you just look and feel better when your thyroid is on the, uh, on the higher side of normal versus the lower side of normal. And so this is uh, something that uh, a lot of doctors are not comfortable with. You don't have to necessarily go to an endocrinologist although I have seen endocrinologists that will do the same thing. They stop as soon as you get into normal range and they really need to push it further. So being having a thyroid uh, therapy to normal is not where you want to be. You want to be optimal, 
optimal uh, when doing so. It's one of the easiest things you can do to optimize your body weight, your mental alertness, uh, take you out of the depression, uh, all kinds of great benefits from optimizing your thyroid function. And a lot of people aren't doing that or, you know, are not taking thyroid supplements that they could benefit from. So you need to talk to a doctor who's sensitized to this and understands about this. And, uh, you know, um, uh, doctors that are osteopathic can do this. Uh, doctors that are naturopathic that deal with, uh, you know, supplements and herbs and that sort of thing can help tremendously. A well-informed primary care provider, a family physician or an internist also would be good to do so. So ask your doctor about it, see what they think about it, and then uh, get back to me. Let me know how, how it comes out. Okay. Can I take uh, keto while taking anastrol or leave with the rocks? And yes, you can. The keto max is compatible with each of those things. Uh, that is a male enhancing and leave with thyroxin is the number one. That's Synthroid. Uh, leave with thyroxin is a generic name and there are generic products out there that uh, the big problems with leave with thyroxin uh, versus Synthroid because the manufacturers, the quality controls for manufacturers, they have a big range of what they can get away with. So if it's supposed to have 100 micrograms of, of, of thyroid hormone in there and it's a generic product, it may have as little as 50 or it may have as much as 150. Or uh, Some of these products had no thyroid hormone in them. So it's very important. And people oftentimes will tell me that uh, when they were taking the branded product Centroid, they felt much better than when they were changed to the generic. So if you're on a prescription, levothyroxine, ask for the branded product versus the generic or switch to what I like to call a better thyroid product, which is uh, Armor or something like Armor. It's A R M O U R, because levothyroxine uh, has to be converted to active thyroid hormone. Some people do that very effectively. Some people don't do it well at all. And so, what you want to do is get a product that has the uh, the levothyroxine, the, the T3 in it, which is the active thyroid hormone, and that's what uh, that's what the Armor has. And so, uh, again, a product like the Nature Thorn also would be good uh, from that perspective. So, yes, to answer your question, yes, you can take the keto uh, uh, max with that. It helps tremendously and uh, perfectly compatible with those things. Okay. What can be used for heat rashes on the arm and legs to have small blisters and swells the legs? One, uh, that is a topical dermatitis and allergic reaction. It's, it can be anything from uh, the products that you're using, from the lotions. It can be the soaps that you're bathing with, uh, you can be reacting to. There are actually people that do react to sunlight. Uh, some people react to changes in temperature. Let's say you're in a nice controlled environment where it's air conditioned and you go outside and it's 90 plus degrees, that change in temperature can also make your, your uh, extremities react and have a histamine reaction, which causes the, the bumps that we're speaking about. So uh, I would start off with the simple things. Use a, uh, a hypoallergenic soap like uh, dove for sensitive skin uh, to bathe with. But no matter what type of soap that you use, make sure that there's an extended rinse phase that you remove all soap residue from your skin and then apply a good moisturizer. I personally like uh, the Suave brand, S-U-A-V-E, with vitamin D. It is inexpensive. It is very effective in moisturizing your skin, and it has sunscreen in it. It's available at uh, a lot of your discount stores uh, to purchase. You don't have to spend a lot of money on more expensive products, uh, although there are more expensive products that you can use, like Lubiderm uh, are very good. Uh, uh, Aveno products are good for the skin as well. And that's uh, then a non-sedating antihistamine. Um, there are four. There's uh, Zizol, there's Zyrtec, there's Allegra, and there's Claritin. Uh, I think that the Allegra works better for people with skin issues uh, as well as sinus and other allergy symptoms. But uh, the Allegra is good. The, the dose is 180 milligrams. It is available over the counter, although you can get a prescription that your insurance will probably cover from your health care provider. But if not, you can get it over the counter. Uh, uh, Allegra, A L L E. GRA 180 milligrams. Try that, take that, uh, and that will give you almost immediate benefit along with the other things that I talked about. Okay, Penny, great question. Audrey Shanae in Galet. How long does it take to get over bronchitis? Well, it depends. If you have a natural inflammatory condition, uh, one of the antibiotics that I like to use for bronchitis, regardless of whether it's viral or bacterial, and I understand that antibiotics don't do anything for a viral infection, but there's a particular antibiotic, azithromycin, that has a unique 
anti-inflammatory uh, component to it, particularly for lung tissues. So I like to use it uh, for bacterial infections, but I will oftentimes use it for a viral infection because once you have a virus and your body starts to produce excess mucus, that excess mucus is a great environment for bacteria to grow. So you can start off with a viral infection that metamorphosizes to a bacterial infection and now or even a secondary pneumonia. Bronchitis can become a pneumonia. So I just like to, to right off the bat, use the azithromycin. If there is no bacterial infection, it will not harm you. It does nothing. It is literally a smart bomb. If there is, it targets directly the bacteria infection and the inflammation associated with it. The great thing about it, because it's a smart bomb, it will not cause yeast infection in women who are susceptible to that. And you only have to take it for three to five days, depending upon what dose you get, but it stays in your system for 15 to 30 days. So it will fight, continue to fight infection for a minimum of two weeks, oftentimes up to a month at higher doses. And I like to give the higher doses. You're familiar with azithromycin because it's commonly referred to as the z pack The z pack that dose is 250 milligrams. You take two tablets on day one and one tablet per day for the next four days for a total of five days. When I have a patient that I'm concerned about, I will give them a 500 milligram tablet to take one a day for three or four days. And it gives you uh, the same benefit or more benefit, uh, again, lasting up to one month. So you're protected from sinusitis, pharyngitis, which is infection of the throat acute bronchitis and pneumonia. So it is a great product and uh, I like to use it under those circumstances for respiratory tract infections. Great question, Ms. Audrey. We appreciate you. Okay, Sabrina Washington, I have asthma. So can I get the second booster shot? Yes. I was told since I was not 50 plus, I didn't qualify. You qualify because you have a compromising health condition. But again, I'm shocked that anybody turns you away uh, because they shouldn't be turning people away uh, for the vaccines. Uh, 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 more educated providers will not do that. Uh, sometimes you have people that are manning these stations who are just following a script and they will, you know, you got to answer questions yes or no. And depending upon how you answer, you may or may not get the booster, but you are eligible. You go in as an asthmatic, you are compromised. So you are eligible, Ms. Washington. So go get that booster. Make it a Moderna booster uh, if you, uh, again, to get your best protection. If you've had Pfizer, if you want to stay within what you've had, you had no problems with it, no problem with that, uh, then get your fourth shot with a, uh, that would be your second booster. Two doses primary are fully immunized. The next dose or third shot is your first booster, and they are now recommending a second booster. Again, the CDC has relaxed that uh, as of today. They are talking about it. Uh, so they're just going to recommend to anybody that wants to get the booster, get it, because we're trying to get this pandemic under control before it controls us. So go get that booster. Just walk in. You can probably get it in five minutes. Okay, great question. Raymond Lee Presley, what causes low MCB? MCB means mean corpuscular volume, and the normal range on that is from 70 to 100. If the number is less than 70, it indicates an iron deficiency anemia. If that number is greater than 100, it indicates a B12 deficiency anemia. That is part of a CBC or complete blood count which gives you your white blood cell count, your hemoglobin, your hematocrit, and the mean corpuscular volume. A CBC with differential will also give you your white blood cell count differential. But the low MCB is caused by low iron, uh, so you need some iron supplementation. Uh, I'd recommend uh, a complete multiple vitamin such as Centrum, z one a day for men. Anything that says it's a complete multiple vitamin with iron, and minerals. If you have a real iron deficiency, then you might need to uh, get prescription strength iron tablets from your healthcare provider. And but then you need to find out why you have iron deficiency, uh, because iron deficiency is associated with uh, a lot of cancers, particularly colorectal cancers. Uh, so you need to make sure uh, when there's anemia in an adult, particularly an adult male, it needs to be evaluated. Adult females, if you are childbearing age and having menstrual cycles, you are all anemic. Women are, are not anemic in childhood. They go through uh, uh, menarche. They start having menstrual cycles. They are anemic until they go through menopause. Uh, or when they get pregnant, they get prenatal vitamins and they're no longer anemic. So uh, not unusual for a woman. Once you've had menopause, 
uh, or hysterectomy, then you should not be again. So, but adult anemia needs to be evaluated more thoroughly. Uh, so if the doctor told you you have a low MCV, you need to be on iron supplementation if you're not already. Uh, what I will do with most patients, I will give them some iron, uh, recheck them in one to three months, depending upon if they respond well, then, you know, I just keep watching it. Uh, if they are or age 50, I would definitely order a colonoscopy on them, possibly an upper endoscopy as well uh, to evaluate those are the most common sites, but then full complete blood, blood checks, other diagnostic blood testing to make sure that there's nothing else I need to be concerned about from that. So Raymond Lee, this is not uncommon. It happens all the time. I have so many patients that are, are iron deficient, but again, you want to make sure that there's no major reason for it and the just how low your MCB is. If you really had a bad bleeding problem uh, and it wasn't just iron, then you would have a low hematocrit hemoglobin as well. So it sounds like you have an isolated low MCB and you just need a little iron supplementation uh, with that. So one a day for men, a Centrum z -back, any bottle that says a complete multiple vitamin with iron and minerals. Great question, Raymond Lee. Okay. Can thyroid make you anemic? Uh, hi, Billy Sue. Uh, no, uh, it does not make you anemic. Um, and it makes you fatigued, like you feel anemic, but it does not affect the blood count from that perspective. Uh, you would have to have some really major thyroid uh, symptoms to do that. There is a phenomenon known as anemia of chronic disease, and uh, hypo or hyperthyroidism is a chronic disease if it's not untreated. So, uh, yes, but it wouldn't be my first choice. Uh, so if I'm anemic, I wouldn't... Uh, Thyroid wouldn't be my first choice in doing so. Uh, but when I see a patient, I do a complete uh, comprehensive physical exam on them. I do a full thyroid panel. I do a full CBC. I do a full, a full comprehensive metabolic panel as well to evaluate the entire uh, metabolic status. That checks their kidney function, their liver function, their electrolytes, everything. So do not have your doctor compromised by ordering the minimum number of blood tests on you when it's time for your comprehensive physical exam. Tell them you want everything checked. You want everything checked and uh, get everything checked and not just screening tests but full panels. Don't just get a total cholesterol, get a full lipid panel that breaks it down to the good cholesterol, the bad cholesterol, and the triglycerides. Don't just get a TSH, a thyroid stimulating hormone, get a full thyroid panel to evaluate your thyroid function. Don't just get a, a, a hematocrit or hemoglobin. Sometimes uh, doctors will just do a rapid hemoglobin test in the office. Doesn't answer the, the questions. You want a complete blood count, which includes hemoglobin, hematocrit, and MCV. So great question, Billy Sue. We appreciate that as well. Okay. Okay. Will the hormone cause cancer, doctor, the estrogen? Uh, if you are estrogen sensitive, there are estrogen receptors that have been noted in uh, certain cancers like a uterine cancer, breast cancer, uh, have, they have positive estrogen receptors. So they don't cause cancer, but they can enhance the growth of a cancer that exists. So you can be screened for that, but for most people, uh, that is not a problem. If you already have a cancer diagnosis, then you need to have that determination whether you have uh, your, your positive for estrogen receptors or not. So you'll know whether you are eligible for hormone replacement therapy. But uh, at one point they used to say women and men, uh, if you had a certain, for men, if you had prostate cancer, you could never get testosterone therapy. Uh, now they're realizing that is not the case. Testosterone does not cause cancer, does not enhance cancer. So uh, you can get it. Uh, oftentimes they will wait till you've been cancer free for at least a year. Uh, doctors that are more conservative may wait two years, but they are giving this therapy to men, uh, women as well. If you are, you have estrogen receptors and you have been cancer free, uh, for women, they like five years and then you can get hormone replacement therapy. But there are other things you can get that will give you the benefits of the estrogen, particularly like the phytoestrogen, the plant based estrogens that can relieve some symptoms that you get when you have low estrogen. So great question. But you need to partner with your primary care provider or your uh, hematologist or oncologist to come up with a replacement regimen that works for you. Your OBGYN, all of these, that's your team and everybody should do that. That's why I like places like Cancer Treatment Centers of America. They have an entire team of people that deal with these types of issues and not just the one disease state or the cancer. They deal holistically with your entire body's function so that they will see and determine whether you're eligible for that type of treatment. Great question. Okay, we're going to take the final question. Catherine Todd, you are the answer. What's good for puppy eye bags? 
Okay, everybody's seen these commercials on the internet now where somebody rubs a magical drop under their eyes and 10 seconds later their eye bags are gone. Uh, I'm not sure whether that actually works or not. Uh, Dr. Connie would love a product like that if it doesn't. Uh, there are uh, are some things that can tighten your skin. Uh, some of the uh, hemorrhoidal preparations have been known to be popular, particularly amongst people that are uh, like actors and actresses and performers and entertainers will use a little uh, hemorrhoid cream under their eyes because it will tighten up the bags. Uh, Dr. Kyrie is not recommending that. I'm just telling you anecdotally that is what I have heard. But uh, uh, again, uh, staying hydrated, getting rest, not sleeping on your face, uh, cold packs, uh, you know, they have the packs you can put in the refrigerator that you lay back and cover your eyes. And basically the point is to decrease the amount of fluid that accumulates so that you don't get puffy. But the major reason a lot of people get puffy is if they sleep on their side, that the bottom half of their face will accumulate fluid. Uh, it's just gravity doing that. If you sleep on your, um, you know, on your stomach, you're going to have fluid in your face. So ideally you want to sleep on your back so that you don't get puffy. And if you see, quote, that you look tired, that you're doing that. Make sure you're staying hydrated so that your body is, is moving fluid. When you don't drink enough fluid, your body conserves fluid. And guess what? It goes to places where there is loose skin that can, can hold that. Your ankles, uh, particularly, you get the cankles, you get the swollen ankles and feet, and you can get puffiness in the eyes because this tissue is very loose under there and fluid will accumulate. Okay, that was our final question. I'm going to close out by saying, Boost your immune system. This BA5 variant is one that's not uh, giving you great protection from either a previous infection with the coronavirus. Uh, so you have your natural immunity is not fighting this BA5. The uh, uh, vaccines are not as effective against the BA5. So make sure that you have done what you need to do to boost your immune system. Get the vitamin D at 5,000 international units per day. Vitamin C, 1,000 international units per day. Zinc at a dose of 30 to 50 uh, milligrams per day. Uh, lipoimmune product, go to our website. You get the lipoimmune, it has zinc, vitamin C, and elderberry extract, all good, known, natural uh, immune system boosters. Uh, hundreds of studies that show the benefits of these products. And again, vitamin D at a therapeutic dose of 5,000 international units per day. A vitamin D dose of 1,000 is not going to do you any good. It's the most uh, commonly available or, you know, over the counter at drugstores. There are doses of 2,000 and 5,000 available. You just have to look for them or ask for them. Thank you so much for attending this evening. We greatly appreciate you and all you do to enhance this broadcast. And remember, we're going to be coming to you on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. Tune in to Your Health is Important broadcast. Why? Because your health is important. Thank you, and we're out.